Hello everybody and welcome back to Beyond Galactic Science. As you can see I'm still in Trenzalore and there's a lot of mobs around. So what I'm not going to do is spend any time here. I don't think we shall travel somewhere else. So let's have a look. Let's go back into the TARDIS. I think we'll go... Where should we go to? Somewhere that's a bit of lag there. Sometimes happens. I should have waited a second. I've actually got a place I want to go to. So let's have a look. So this is, I've saved this location as Trezalore. And if I right click this one, I'm going to go somewhere else. Let's have a look where we're going to go to. Ellipse. And as far as I know, Ellipse is a four space planet. So let's get going. So right click that one. And that one. And the quantum handbrake. And while we're flying, I'm just going to make a marker for that particular one. Where has it gone to? Um, da, 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 da. Are they in here? Yes, they are. I need a tag. Let's give this tag into here. Shift it in there. And we wanted to. Where were we going to? Ellipse, huh? Like that. That's fun. Five enchantments cost, no big deal. At the moment, we've got 17 from all those mobs on the asteroid. So, I have saved it onto this location here, haven't I? Yes, that's the current slot, I think. That should be Trezor Law. Let's just put it here. Like that. Now, I know that we're safe because I've been here just now just to check what this planet was like. And what we can get from that. Let's have a look actually what we can get from Ellipse. So, so I typed in Ellipse in here and I got these things. So you basically get some, some you need some flamite ingots, which you can get from a block of flamite, which you can get from mining. It's brilliant, huh? We can also get this flamite ore here. So let's go and see if we can find some. I don't think this is going to work. So if you smell that, you'll get dust. Okay, that's very useless. What else can we get to a plate? Okay, I don't think these are actually used. I think this is one of these not yet finished mods things. We've got some skullies over there. I saw them. But there's something nasty on this planet. Now, where am I? I think I made a hole, actually. Let's have a quick look. I wonder if the TARDIS is sitting... No, it can't be. It would be sitting on the hole. There, there we go. Look. Because when I came here, first of all, I if I can get into the hole, let's try again. There we go. Oh, look, some flam up. Right, let's see if we can mine that. There's plenty of it. It's not a rare commodity on this particular planet, is it? And you go down here, there were some caves down here. And you start to take damage. And I'm going, oh, why am I taking damage? We're not going to worry too much about it because I don't think we are anyway. Obviously, it doesn't like me being here. But there are mobs around. Some over there, possibly. Or I have no idea whether this stuff is any use at all. Because I just saw it and I was going, oh, what's that? Then I looked it up. Now, does that actually hurting me? I see I'm getting hit but those are not going down probably because of the armor now where's the, where's the exit here we are oh, that's what, what actually are we doing for damage let's have a look here we're getting nausea three because the other ones i think are, are there anyway so that's what probably what's damaging us so this planet is a bit nasty well, there's not much else to see in here i guess all right, as soon as you come into here, of course. I've still got the um, the nausea bubbles. We don't care about that. So look, see if we can actually do anything with this ore. I wonder if we can smelt it in any way. Nope, we're we'll going there. I've got a feeling you can't do anything with this. What about the oh yes, cobblestone we can smelt, I believe. Not here. I wonder. Let's take a. Um, few of these 
And let's make a furnace. Where's the cobblestone gone to? Oops. Oh, I just love that. That's my fault. I was using the wrong tool. And I've not the first time I've done this, I will be honest. And it breaks the jabber barrel. Now, the jabber barrel will be here somewhere or other. So let's just have a look. See if we can get one out of here. Because you're, cause you're left clicking it. It does attack damage on it. Actually, Jabba is where it is Jabba. Mental breakdown here. There we go. A Jabba barrel. Let's put that in slot five. Oops, I can't, can I? And of course you do this, it's moving everything. So I wonder I would basically put that into slot five like that. Right. So now I can repair this, hopefully. Like that. And then we just take this and put that into slot five. And then right click this. And that's picked up most of most of it. It probably lost a load of um, cobblestone, but it's not very important. It's only cobblestone. Right, what did I want to do? Make us furnace, didn't I? Oops. Yes, I forget. I've been playing um, Forever Stranded. And in Forever Stranded, you're not... You haven't got Jabba Barrels. You've got refined um, storage drawers. And they basically do exactly the opposite. Most irritating as it happens. So, let's make a furnace. And put the furnace down somewhere or other. It's not work. I'm going to move it straight away. And charcoal. I thought, yes, I got some charcoal here. And can we smelt trussel or rock? No. Nope. Granite. I got granite. No, that's from previous. There wasn't a coal stone. This is a very. I just don't think this is actually doing anything useful, is it? Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything here that we can actually use. Because it's got no uses for that. And you make this with an axe, which you can make with flamite or. But doesn't show you any way to get the flamite which is really strange and you've got a battery as well of course well there's no recipe for that so I reckon this place isn't actually finished yet so what I'll do now is just take a the bubbles won't go away and it's really irritating so what I'm going to do is quick pause and come back again in a few right. seconds when I stop now I've reloaded now where else have we where else can we go to on this thing that's of any interest to us Mars, Mercury, Pluto. Have we been to Pluto? I, Venus, another. This is a different Europa. Let's go there. And see what happens. This is a this is a Europa from a different mod. Because the previous one was, I think it's a different mod. I'm getting confused, am I? Let's have a look. Oh, ellipse. And uh, maybe that's the same Europa we've been to already. I think I've noticed through when I was going through these, there's two different ones. Moon, Space Station 3, and that's the last one. Can I not shift right click this one? Let's get rid of this out of my hand. I O. You know, I'm having difficulty remembering where I've been to. I think we've done Pluto because we did that last time, didn't we? It's not very interesting anyway. Let's try going to I.O. I don't think I've been to I.O. Hmm. That doesn't do any harm. I'll do it twice, does it really? Stand over here further just the flight is very short but the landing is very long here we go So it's safe in all directions, which is nice as well. I have to wait for the train to download. Oh, 
Oh, look, that must be the sun. So now where are we? Let's have a look. Oh, the oxygen bar's on. So this must be a... This must be a four space or a galactic. Let's have a look where we are. Let's press F3. Um, now let's have a look in the... Here, see if we can find the IO in here. A bit of a bad choice, but there we are. Because there's lots of Ender IO stuff. not helping me very much is it um i wonder if this is we'll press f3 oh, maybe that's the best way to do it tells me what dimension i'm in io oh fantastic but i don't know which module we're in okay well it doesn't look so dangerous in this particular case let's just tell you what we'll do we'll pick up some of this rock press f3 again of course turn it off oh i won't do that one on this one what we got here Okay, this is best. That was sensible, wasn't it? Four space IO. So we're in a four space planet. That's why we need the oxygen. And let's have a look if there's actually anything in here. We'll get inside again. Wait a few seconds now. So, four space IO. Let's have a look at what we can see for that one. This looks like IO, so basically we've got IO stone, cobblestone, sulfur ore, which is not the only place we can get sulfur from, and surface rock. And that's in from Europa, which we've been to, which was water, wasn't it? Ice and water, that's right. Anything else in here that's uh, any interest at all? It, oh, there's IO ash stone, that's interesting. Ash, cobblestone, bus. Salt, silicate. It was an IO dungeon brick. So that means there must be something more down here that we can actually find, possibly. So let's go and have a quick look outside and see if we can find anything. Well, there's certainly lava, and there's certainly mobs. Let's go and investigate those mobs. Oh, they just disappeared off there. Off the map, probably underground, huh? So if there's a dungeon, we might find a dungeon. Well, tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll search for a dungeon, and if I find one, I'll come back. Well, I'll come back anyway. But I'll come back where the dungeon is. So I'll see you in a few well, seconds. So far, I've not found anything particularly exciting, except for the train's quite spectacular. You get these lava pools, and they're different colours. I was going, oh, is that the same? Is that actually what's that there? Is it really lava? See, that's yellowy, orangey. This one's very red. I haven't found any dungeons yet. Let's have a look. I probably should head back to the ship because my oxygen is getting a little bit low. In fact, I, I can sort that out. Let's have a quick look. So here's an interesting formation. Well, the creeper on the end of it. That's rather cool. I suppose it could be an X creeper in a second. We've got some redstone too. Just looks like a. And here's some rock. What else do we have here? Anything exciting? Actually, I have been doing a little bit of mining. So I picked up some ore. So I found some sulfur ore. And the rest of it is surface rock and some cobblestone. And some more cobblestone and some subsurface stone. But I don't think they have any uses as such. Right, I wanted to go back to the ship, didn't I? I haven't found anything that's unduly particularly exciting. That's the yellow lava. Look at that one. Let's have a look. So let's go back to the map here. I think I probably want to head out in this direction. If not, I'll have to recall the TARDIS. I think I've got some oxygen. It's bare oxygen with me. Let's have a quick check. If I have it, it'll be in one of these bags. Not that one. This one, I've got plenty of oxygen, look at that. Let's just take this one, the empty one out of here. Put that in there. And then we can use that, and then when that gets low, we can go back. Let's have a look. Right, I'm probably going the wrong way. Let's go back towards the ship. I think the ship is this way. 
but of course we got the TARDIS and I didn't put a marker which was a bit daft as you can see this train is quite spectacular even if it does take a little bit of time to render in there are there are obviously by when you're looking at the rendering there are tunnels and things so there's caving to be done here Got some back into the wrong direction. This trap here. But I don't see any entrances to um, dungeons. Where are we now? I'm probably going completely the wrong direction. I want to go back the opposite direction. Sounds it looks like I'm going to have to recall the TARDIS to get safe myself, but. Prefer not to do so because it's rather exciting. It's rather spectacular. Oops, don't mean to do that, do I? These interesting pockets of of lava. Let's look at the map again. Where am I? Oh, I'm really in, I'm in a bad place at the moment. I don't know where I am. Where am I? Let's go to my location. Doop. Is that smart? I thought actually the TARDIS should be around about here. Actually, so we'll do. We'll recall the TARDIS. There's a nice little hilly top here. Let's do it on there. Yes. Okay. Let's get in the right mode. Oh, we're in the right mode. TARDIS is inbound. Let's just stand off all the way. There we go. Well, in we go. I think I pressed the button. I think I have, yes, indeed. And wait a few seconds. Then we can move. Right. Well, so while I'm here, actually, what we'll do is we'll charge up those oxygen tanks. Or oh, the oxygen tank I took out, which takes a few seconds as it happens. And um, let's have a look at what we've got here. So any uses for this stuff? Oh, you can save this. So you can save it for Crystallium and Uranium ore. That's not the only way to do this. What else have we got in there? Probably that's all you can do. Cobblestone, you'll smelt, I guess. Yeah, smelt it and that will produce stone. So let's do that while we're here. Cobblestone there and we'll put cobblestone in the other one. What else have we got here? Some sulphur ore. And the uses for that is to smelt it and then we'll get sulphur dust. Which is from, um, which is already from four space, see Venus anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's not such a problem, but that's what we use for the torches. There's two types of torches in this mod pack. There's um, glowstone torches, which is the one you'd f use first of all, and this one. So basically that surface rock and subsurface rock probably have the same uses for that one. Sulfuring, I guess, uranium and crystallium, and that one. But what you can, can do with those, of course, it comes this dimensional chest here and actually send those to the moon. And they will be sent to the moon. The uses for this, there's good, there are none, so there's nothing special about ellipse. So that was, we've been through that one already, haven't we? And this one, we can send these two back here when it's, when it's done. And these will also now, because it's stone, so look at the uses of that. Yes, it's the same. We can crush, we can sieve that for thorium and crust uranium ore. 
So let's just send that back, and that'll be your straight to the moon because it's a dimensional chest. So I think actually it's going to be a short episode. I don't think there's anywhere else to go to except for one place. And we'll do it because it's actually not going to work. Shall we save this location here? So where are we? We're in ellipse, weren't we? So let's go and save. Actually, I forgot where we are. Let's have a quick look. I.O. But if I push it, pushing it down here, then I can see it better, can't I? So um, I've done that was Drizzle or Ellipse, and this one hasn't been saved yet. So I'll put that into save mode, and that one I think we'll use, and then put that into load mode. So therefore, you've got Moon and I.O. Now I should probably label that. Let's go and do that before I forget, because otherwise I'll just forget where it is, won't I? One of those. Which is written like that, isn't it? So we'll save that. There it is. See here, these are lava buckets I got from that, those two. I just picked them up to test or to check what what it was. So it was the one next to ellipse. So here we go. So let's just right click that. There. Good. So the last dimension, and it's probably the very last thing I'm going to do on this. I can't think of anything else. But if there is anything else you want to know about, just ask, and I'll make another one. In fact, I think it's the um, other way around, isn't it? Nope, moon. Space station stop one. So they dick. No, it's just a fairly random order, isn't it? Overworld. Okay. Now watch this. Moon's different. You saw moon there before. And this is overworld. Now, you can guess, I reckon you've already guessed, what's going to happen. Wait for us to land, eventually. Oh, that was a big bong. That was, well, we must now be up to XP level 16. Fantastic. I didn't know there was a 16 level. Right. So, let's have a look. Unsafe drop. Brilliant. Dimension overworld, it says. Unsafe drops. Do you know what? Shall we dis shall we risk it? Yes, that was a bad move. Bedrock. Oh look. How can I be at minus Y twenty nine? Okay. <laughs> and how do I get out of this? Up my up minus y29 that's not a very clever idea was it I'll tell you what we'll do and and there's even a base it's actually not too bad what i can do is right click this and teleport back to base because i noticed now the tardis let's go and find out where the tardis is so let's get this to locate which into the green one and right click it does not appear to be in this dimension. Oh. Okay. So we might as well recall the TARDIS then, huh? And of course it should land on the landing pad. And while we're here, we might as well put these items I've got on me here, which is... Oh, I can't use that stuff, can I? I'll just put that somewhere stupid. 
So you've got this rock. That all appeared here, which is what we expected it to be. And so does the asteroid. Now the asteroid, I haven't shown you this. This is actually useful. Let's see for some ast asteroid stuff. Now, what should happen is you'll find these ender pearls. So if you see an asteroids, you'll get ender pearls. So that's 16 at the moment, 16, 11. Let's have a look. In a few seconds, we should get 16, 12. Now the tower disappeared. Indeed it has. Well, I'm going to have a quick trundle back into here and see if we can actually get to the overworld again. But I think that's what it, all it's going to be. It's going to be a, a bedrock. Uh, let's have a look. Moon. That's where we're at the moment. Uh, of course, because I recalled it. And if I click here, you see this is the current position. And this is the last stored coordinates. And it changes. And that's overworld. And the Y is 124. Now that is interesting. Let's just try it. I know it's not going to work. Because I reckon what they've done is they've done something like just put bedrock on the, in the world. But let's see where we land. Because one of these co controls here is a relative control and an absolute control. And that's stable flight. And that's coordinated flight. That's that one. Yes, that's right. Now there is another control. As we're just setting the X's. That's the dimension lever, helmet regulator, flight controls, land on the ground, use landing pads, yes. Uh, let's just check this one. Unsafe drop. You'll see the current position is overworld and the what and the Z coordinate the Y coordinate is one. Right, let's see if we can find the one I want to do. There is a button. Zigzag plotter. Flight controls. Speed lever. Relative coordinate absolute coordinates. So let's set that to relative coordinates now. So you see it says at the bottom current. So the current is relative coordinates. So now can we travel up? So the Y side is that Z. That's a dimension. Oh, that's also Y. Good. Now Y is set to. Let's have a look. Y is set to 124. 125. Let's try and move it out to a, a higher place. 189. 253. Okay. Now let's see if we do that because then we should go up. But. I'll bet you anything we end up at 1. So I'm just travel I'm just playing really. Just trying things out, see whether it makes any difference. To wait for it to land. Come on, land, come on. Now, you see, we're still at one, so it doesn't matter what we do, it's always unsafe. So we're basically always ending up just below bedrock. So bedrock must be at level two. So, so I'm going to say. Goodbye. So I shall do that from this side. And I hope you've enjoyed this series. Um, it was great fun playing Galactic Science. It's even worth doing, even though all the 1.10 stuff is out. It's still great fun playing this mod pack. Because it's it's different. It's quite hard. It's not as hard as um, Forever Stranded. But it's still quite hard. And it's a bit grindy. Because you've got to do everything yourself. But I had a great fun playing it. So bye for now.